Hello, welcome back. This is Jeff Byers. This is Annie 258, and this is module 15 lighting, set dressing, adding cover, and VFX to your Mayan level, part four. It's hard to believe we're here. This is our final module for the semester. And basically, you have everything completed. You, you've modeled and textured uh, four props that you can um, hopefully add to your scene interior and exterior there's not a whole lot you guys are going to be able to uh, set dress inside do you do the best you can I appreciate that um, but there I didn't really find anything that is mine related now some of you I kinda let you guys go ahead and go with um, medieval uh, type of props would be fine too in for the interiors so uh, don't knock yourself out um, with the interiors, uh, I'm mainly looking at the exterior uh, for set dressing, and I am offering extra credit, and those are for the jump pads and uh, portals. So you do two of each of those, and you can get, uh, I think it's 10 extra credit points. Let's take a look. What do I have at the very bottom here? Uh, for extra credit. Yeah, it's 10 extra credit points to add the jump pads and the portals. And then you need two of each. You can just put those in the extra credit folder right here. Alright, with that said, let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty. Alright, so in uh, the everything is the same except for our objectives and the assignment. Let's look at that. All right, we started way back in module 12 with our pre-production, uh, and then we moved forward with our terrain and texturing, and now we're on uh, module 15 where we're set dressing the exterior with torches, grass, trees, rocks, and other foliage. So we have to—I kind of have to talk to you about this because. Um, Everybody has a different layout. Everybody's got a different floor plan uh, as far as the exterior and the buildings. So um, when I talk about lighting, it's going to be generic. You know, it's ba basically got to cover a bunch of different types of floor plans. So the lighting is going to be uh, uh, exterior lighting, meaning that we're going to have torch light and we're going to have a nighttime scene again. The reason for that is because I want to I want to set a mood that's kind of an eerie mood, and I want you guys to add fog. But I really want you to concentrate on uh, painting trees along pathways and grass along pathways, and do that first, okay? When you're doing the set dressing. And so set dressing basically for exterior is going to be those items. It's going to be grass and, and trees and, and we know all that and flowers and maybe some different types of foliage. Um, so, you know, that is really what I want to see. That's what I want you to spend most of your time on. Now, the next thing is the last thing you should be doing are the torches. Like you would place the torches so you're leading the player throughout your level and and I asked for pathways so most of you guys have pathways so really concentrate on set dressing along those pathways and then uh, you know add a add some grass and some trees throughout but not don't go don't go too dense with the grass and the trees because it'll slow your computer down to a point where it'll take forever to, to render out your lights depending on your computer power um, so really be careful with those trees that you use um, some of those packs I found in um, the Unreal Marketplace are really high resolution I mean they they're not set up for uh, the way Unreal can handle and your graphics card can handle so a couple of those trees will really start bogging you down. I would really recommend finding smaller trees and just scaling them up, right? You know, uh, not as dense. So be super careful. You're going to find out real quickly how much you can put in your scene. So what I would do before you start set dressing and painting in trees and rocks and grass along the pathways is uh, to make sure that you paint a little bit and see, and then and then go ahead and, and um, uh, render your lighting out. 
build your scene out, right? Build your scene with the lighting and, and the geometry and see how long it takes. Just doing a little bit, right? And then do a little bit of time, save it. Do a little bit at a time, save it. Don't do a bunch of painting and then save it and then find out you crash, right? So what I would do is make sure you save your scene. Never save over a previous scene. Never save over that. Always save in a sequence, okay? That's your that's going to save you with this this module. Okay? Cuz when you email me and you go everything crashing, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to throw it away. I'm not going to do it anymore. I really want you guys I'm the first thing I'm going to ask you is did you save an earlier scene? And at that point it's your fault because you did not save in a sequence and you didn't save an earlier scene before you started painting. There's nothing I can do to help you guys because you can't send me the your file. It's going to be huge. It's going to be like 20 gigs. So you're going to have to really protect yourself with this one. Before you start painting, make sure you save your any set dressing you've done, like you know your props and stuff, your torches, putting those torches in. Um, and uh, not worry about lighting at that point and then when you start getting your lighting in um, I would be very very careful okay I'd probably do your lighting first before you do um, your nighttime stuff meaning the interior and your torches don't don't add the VFX like the fire VFX in Unreal that'll be a canned thing that you find for your torches, you put it on your torches and it'll look like real fire coming up. And that's VFX in Unreal. Um, that would be the last thing you do. Okay. So, so paint a little bit. Make sure you save your work before you do any painting. I mean, as far as painting in grass and painting in trees, because that's how you're going to do it. Um, and when you do that, um, stop and save your scene um, and and see how long it takes to actually. Uh, build it out okay and you're gonna want to build it out um, uh, every time you add stuff so it's gonna be a very slow process for some of you because you're using older computers and your graphics cards are having a hard time with it so again I would just focus along the pathways to your buildings from one building to another just trees around those areas and grass around those areas so it looks like you're going through a forest, right? Okay. And so you do that first and then, uh, you know, build it, save your work, and you can at least turn that in, right? You can at least turn that in. And then what you want to do is to then see what your computer can handle and then maybe do more of the, the really empty areas of your scene between the buildings, right? So that's what I would. That's how how I would handle your assignment for this particular uh, one. Because we're at the end, you can't turn this in late. Um, this guy I realized went crazy, and he probably has a really nice computer at home. And and you know, and the thing is, he went out and found uh, uh, free trees that were uh, low poly um, cards. And they look really good, okay. Um, and they're not. He's not using. They're not using individual um, geometry for the leaves, okay. So you got to understand that free stuff you find on the marketplace is is not. There's no reason for that person to care whether it's optimized or not. So a lot of the, these trees that there's they're giving away is probably probably created in XFrog and that is like high resolution meshes like a million plus uh, polygons and you gotta understand that it's not optimized for Unreal okay and they don't care you know they're not selling it they don't it doesn't have to be optimized it just has to look good and that's they're giving that stuff free away and just understand that it's not optimized so this guy found trees and it might be worth looking, you know, at CG Trader um, to see if you can find some some free uh, trees that are really low poly and and use those. And those work just fine from far away. That's what we're seeing. We're mainly interested in the buildings, right? So this is just for far away. And now the the grass again will build up too as well. You can see that we've got some spaces here, and just just do it along the pathways, okay? 
this guy went crazy and he he must have a really powerful computer because he's got Ivy he's got some really really good scenes here okay so I don't expect this I just I just wanted to show you some some work from another student that really really thought about it and spent a lot of time uh, doing this work and it looks really really good again do the best you can um, I got the basic lighting tutorials we've had before and the tutorials we've had for our uh, nighttime lighting and you guys can look at that here's the tutorials for li nighttime lighting we've got tutorials for the jump pad and the portals teleporter okay and then some particles uh, that takes you through how to actually create your own uh, particles and there are there are particle um, torch uh, fire that's already pre-made in uh, Unreal that you can find you may be able to find stuff on the marketplace too as well okay do some research and you'll you'll come up with some pretty pretty cool stuff again read the assignment very carefully and make sure that uh, um, you know, just understand that I'm okay with just having trees along, you know, along the pathways and grass along the pathways and flowers along the pathways and just making it look really good along the pathways and the empty spots um, and just around the buildings. Any empty sp spots between the buildings I'm okay with, but around the buildings I want you to kind of make them, make it look really nice around the buildings, okay? And that should be, that should work for almost everybody depending on you know don't don't go too dense with the trees don't go too dense with the grass so you know when you're when you're playing around with the gra grass and the settings for the grass strokes um, keep it uh, not as dense it's okay if you have a you know spaces between the grass uh, the grass because it'll save you when you're trying to actually build your game and and do screenshots okay all right so that's important and please read the restrictions and requirements again uh, some of you have kind of uh, you know some of you most of you have, have done this but some of you have gone less than 800 feet by 800 feet and and I will continue to um, knock points off for those of you that are going below this okay I can tell by just seeing you go through your your level walking through your level when you give me that movie so I can tell whether you've you've you're you're doing these. Okay, it's really important. You have to have eight buildings. You have to have a river that runs through your level. You have to have two bridges. I don't care how you build them. You can uh, create the uh, module assets yourself, but you have to have, you have to create the two bridges. You'll have to have a mountain range around your level so your your character doesn't go through. Uh, your level that these are all things that I've had up here for quite a you know all four weeks um, not added or changed anything okay so the only thing that that you're not required to do it was required at one time but I pulled back on this is that making you do this the uh, that was required at one time I, I still have it up there um, but you don't have to. These are going to be extra credit, so I'm going to make uh, a change here. As you can see, now I don't have it changed, but I will. And if I don't have a change, if I forget to change it, just ignore this part. Okay? That's extra credit. And if you read this and you do it and you didn't, you didn't, you didn't watch this introduction, I'm going to give you that 10 extra credit points if they work. Okay? If you get them working. All right? Cool. And you show it in your video. And that's really important that you go through when you're doing your it's going to take you longer than 30 plus seconds and that's why I put 30 plus you can't go any any less than 30 seconds you're going to have to first person shooter you're going to have to do the video gameplay video walking through your entire level okay and going through every building and if you're walking long distances I've had a couple of you guys which is really cool is you speed up that video Okay, speed it up, so I not, you know I'm not sitting there waiting. So I like that. That was that was pretty cool, and you can do that in uh, Premiere Pro if you want to. Okay, so um, 
Otherwise, I speed it up myself when I'm watching it. So some of you guys have two, three, four minute videos going through your entire level. That's normal, okay? All right. So you can uh, create uh, your gameplay videos, um, watching those videos if you need help with that. Most of you guys have figured that out. All right, so how am I going to grade you? Well, set dressing is 25 points. That's basically your exterior, okay? And your the screenshots that you give me, that's important. And your 30 second videos down here, so fog and VFX, and your 30 second video right down here, you're, you're getting graded for that, okay? All right. So that's 15 points. So altogether, it's 40 points, okay? If I can't grade you, you can see that there a lot of points are going to be the fact that you have to turn in screenshots. You don't turn in screenshots. Of course, that's going to be something. <laughs> that's going to be take. That's going to take up most of your points right there. If I, if you do not turn in screenshots, I can't grade you the rest of the way. Okay, I can't grade. I can't grade any of this other stuff because I don't know what it looks like, right? If you don't turn in these screenshots that I have to have to be able to do the rest of this, you're going to lose all those points. Okay, all right. There's no. Uh, there's no other way to 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 grade you. I can't grade you on fog because I don't have the screenshots, right? Okay, I can't grade you on the what the fire effect looks like because I don't have that. Now, some of you are saying, well, if I don't have the screenshots and I don't have the 30, 30 second sequence, then you're I can't grade you on any of this stuff, so you just lost 40 points. You have to have the screenshots and you have to have the 30 second sequence before I can even grade you on the rest of it. That makes sense? Okay. All right, so um, in, uh, turn in instructions, deliverables. Um, you're going to have to please read that very carefully. And if you have questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer your questions. I answer them within the hour, um, within the time period that you send me now. Um, obviously, Saturdays and Sundays, I don't respond that quickly. But during the week, I'm usually hovering over and doing stuff at at home and you know working on my my stuff and working for on stuff uh, for next semester and I have my my uh my emails open and so I usually get your stuff in real time so um so look at the folder structure nothing's really changed I will I probably will have some um you guys know what to turn in I usually don't do anything uh different with your turn ins I try to do the same exact thing and I will place some um, screenshots that you see up here of examples that I want to see. You know, different. You know, the corners of your 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 scene, and and then the top view. Nothing's really changed. And interior shots. Instead of four, I'm just having you guys do two interior screenshots per uh, room. Okay, per building. And then I want you to give me various shots of the buildings on the outsides, kind of like what I showed you up here, what you see up here, of the buildings, which is really good, of each building. Just shots of each building in, in your area. You know, just kind of focus on that. And then just kind of take me through, like, show me the waterfalls, maybe show me the bridges, and show me some fun stuff like this. If you found, find some really interesting shots, uh, go ahead and give me those shots. And how you set dressed and in, in your scene, and then of course, the 30-second video is going to be the or the video that you give me, the first-person shooter video, and it's going to be way longer than 30 seconds. Some of you are going to be turning in two, three, four minute. Just make sure you compress those at H.264 or XVID. You can download XVID for free. All you have to do is download it, double-click on it, install it, restart your computer, and um, you know, Unreal will see that, uh, you know, compression. Or you can create the video and bring it into Premiere Pro, and that will, and then you can go ahead and, and you know, compress it for me. That's going to be very helpful because these videos get really, uh, really huge, and you can't even upload it, so make sure you compress it. So make sure that if you do, uh, if it's so big that you can't upload it, I would highly recommend you putting it on YouTube or Vimeo and make sure you give me in a Word document 
<clears throat> that the you know the you are you know the URL so I can go and check it out okay all right I prefer to have it with your folder in your folder um, but if it's too big for me to you know to, for you to upload you're gonna have to give me a URL because you have to give it you have to get it to me okay before the due date and time uh, module 15 cannot be turned in late um, that's in my syllabus from day one um, you guys knew that if you read my syllabus that module 15 could not be turned in late that's due to the turnaround process that I have to have everything all the grades turned in for 80 students so if module 15 cannot be late it'll be considered a zero of course something traumatic something crazy happens to you and you get put in the hospital um, um, that's the only thing that I'll look at okay so hospitalization or, or a death in the family that will be um, will be looked at okay so send me an email immediately don't wait until the week after saying oh this happened to me um, immediately something like that happens you let me know right away we'll figure something out all right have a it's been a great uh, semester it's been a long one I'm sure for you guys too um, I hope you enjoyed the online series um, and I look forward to next semester. I don't look. Uh, I look forward to next semester, uh, but being online is tough. It's tough. I agree. And um, I'd rather uh, teach face to face. But this is how. This is the the. This, these are the cards. The cards we were dealt, and we do the best we can. And um, I do the best I can for you guys. And I try to structure my uh, online stuff as. Uh, easy as possible you just go to one spot each module has is totally enclosed and you don't have to keep skipping around trying to find stuff everything's right there I try to organize it the best way I can and um, I'll see you guys some of you guys uh, good luck with everything this was your last uh, module or the, la the last class you had to take and uh, I won't see you guys again for those people um, good luck with everything and let me know if I can help you in, in the future and for those of you that are, I'll have for next uh, semester, um, I look forward to seeing you guys in, in that class. Um, and so good luck with everything, and, uh, and happy holidays, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.